Good day, Great Tools. Welcome to the second lesson on electric circuits in week 21. Now, in the last lesson, you learned about internal resistance, and we looked at internal resistance in series circuits. In this lesson, we're going to look at specifically parallel circuits and internal resistance in the parallel circuits. <laughs> Welcome to our series on electric circuits, grade 12. Today, we will start with resistors in parallel, and then we will do a problem with the circuit that contains this type of combination as well as internal cell resistance. The resistance of the conductor is the extent to which a conductor impedes the flow of charge. In a parallel network, the current is divided between the resistors. The highest amount of current will move through the smallest resistor, while the smallest amount of current will move through the biggest resistor. When the currents are added together, the total current will be the same as the current before the split. A parallel connection is called a current divider. If resistors are connected in parallel, the following formula is used to find the total resistance. 1 divided by R total equals 1 divided by R1, plus 1 divided by R2, plus 1 divided by R3, etc. Let's look at an example. There are three resistors in parallel with resistances of 3 ohm, 4 ohm, and 6 ohm. What is the total resistance of the parallel combination? Let's substitute this information into our equation. Remember to take the inverse of the answer to get our total. We see that our answer is 1,33 ohm. The general guiding rule is that the total resistance of the parallel combination must be less than the smallest resistor in the parallel combination. 1,33 is less than 3. Now let's do a circuit calculation which includes both a parallel resistor combination as well as internal cell resistance. First we need to remember that the internal resistance R of a cell is always in series with the rest of the network and it is added to the total external resistance R of the network in calculations. Also remember the EMF formula. EMF equals current times the sum of external resistance and internal resistance. Here is our question. A battery of EMF 16 volts and internal resistance R is connected in a circuit. When the switch S is open, a current of 3 ampere is recorded on the ammeter and the voltmeter reads 15 volt. The resistors in the parallel circuit are identical. So here is our circuit diagram. Calculate the internal resistance of the battery. First, we use the measured potential difference 15 volts to calculate the external resistance in the circuit. We substitute our values into the formula for Ohm's law. Potential difference V equals current I times resistance R. We find the resistance for the external circuit equals 5 Ohm. Now we use the EMF together with the total resistance of the circuit including internal resistance R and calculate internal resistance. Let's substitute our values into our EMF formula and we find the internal resistance R equals 0, 0,33 ohm. Note that in the Ohm's law formula, the measured potential difference goes with the resistance of the external circuit. The EMF goes with the total resistance of the circuit, including internal resistance. Now find the resistance of each of the identical resistors. We know that the resistance of the parallel circuit is 5 ohms. Since we have two resistors in parallel, we need to work backwards. So our total equals 5. So 1 over 5, which equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Since the resistors are identical, we can add R1 and R2. When we solve for R, we find it equals 10 ohm. So R1 and R2 equal 10 ohm each. 
Finally, calculate the reading on the ammeter when the switch S is closed. Now remember, with the switch closed, we have three identical resistors in parallel. So we first need to calculate the new external resistance. Substitute 10 ohm for each resistor into our formula for parallel resistors and we find our new external R equals 3,33 ohm. Now let's use our EMF formula to calculate current. We find the new current is 4,37 amperes. Notice that this is higher than the previous current because we now have more resistors in parallel. So in summary grade 12s, we have seen that it is important to use the correct voltage with the corresponding resistance. You'll find more information about electric circuits at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video. Goodbye.